Welcome to the West Mountain Observatory, owned and operated by the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at Brigham Young University. We don't know that much about astronomy or observatories, but we're here to get some hands-on training, learn what it's like to be a student here, and we want you to come along. Welcome to the mountain. Hi. I'm Tabitha. And this is Jeshua. Jeshua is one of our undergraduates. And this is his first night up at the observatory. Awesome. Great. Cool. Let's get started. Let's do All right. This is Dr. Laney. He's our resident astronomer. Uh, Dr. Laney, why don't you show Jake and Natalie what it is we do in here, and I'll take Katie and Joshua to one of the other telescopes. OK. Cool. Yeah, well, the first thing that we have to do is set the clocks. If you try to publish variable star data that doesn't have correct times on it, uh -huh. uh, it won't do your career very much good. Okay. <laughs> okay, the first thing that we have to do at night is get the dome aligned due south. This is because the control program expects to see the dome to be exactly south, and it'll get confused if it isn't. So, let's make the control program happen. Let's Tabitha, tell us what we've got here. This is our 20 inch telescope. It's okay. a Ritchie Cretchen reflecting telescope. So, what you have is a primary mirror at the base right here, and then up at the top, you can see that's our secondary mirror. Okay. And so, light comes in, reflects off of the primary mirror, bounces off the secondary mirror, and then comes out of the telescope where it comes to a camera that we have set up here to take pictures. Okay. So do you guys want to learn how to get it all set up? Yes, we do. Okay. With an undergraduate degree in astronomy, you can work at all of the big NASA centers across the country. Um, they need researchers as well as satellite operators, uh, people to handle grants and libraries and schedulers. You can also work at some of the major observatories and places like the uh, Air Force Command Center. With a graduate degree in astronomy, you have a few more options that open up to you, working as a teacher and researcher at a university, for example, or as a research astronomer at any observatory. All right, ready, and stop. So how much time do you spend looking over your images then during the night? You're here for how many days at a time? Uh, two or three, okay. depending on the week. Mm -hmm. And so then the telescope is taking images for maybe 30 minutes at a time. So what are you doing with the rest of your time then? Well, while we're waiting for it to take pictures, we drink hot chocolate and watch movies. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Mostly, a telescope is a big light bucket. So what we're doing with the telescope is trying to collect as much light from these objects as we can. So usually what we do is measure how much light we're getting from these stars or nebulae or whatever is in our image, because that's what gives us information. There's just a wealth of information you can learn from light. You can learn the temperature of something, you can learn what something is made of, and you can learn how it's moving. I know a lot of people say when they look at the stars, they feel insignificant, they feel small, but I feel part of something bigger. I've liked astronomy ever since I was 12 years old and um, ever since then it just kind of grew on me even more. It's like the major you never, you know, grow out of. Hands On is a production of the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at Brigham Young University. To get your hands on more information, visit cpms.byu.edu. Mm -hmm.